the way that that I use the, uh, the terms guilt versus shame is that guilt is something you feel bad that you've done something wrong and or you have remorse and there is, that is a very healthy uh, psychological or emotional experience to have you know God gave us the ability to feel kind of guilty so that we mm -hmm. could correct ourselves and learn from our mistakes and, mm -hmm. and be humble mm -hmm. shame is something different shame is not I made a mistake but I am a flawed person I am defective mm -hmm. and one of the rules that I've learned to really live by especially in my domestic violence groups and plus all the other work is that clinically shame is not our friend shame mm -hmm. is a, a shame is our enemy and the mm -hmm. only there's one exception to that psychopaths so if there's a psychopath I figure give them a, you know a hypodermic needle with a little injection of shame you know they'll yeah. be like the rest of us yeah. but outside of the the rare true psychopaths in working with people clinically and particularly with men clinically when they get into shame mode we lose them we they are not accessible to the kinds of very kinds of things that that we're hoping for for from or for them and mm -hmm. that they're hoping for themselves they either freeze up and shut down because the shame is just un, unbearable or another way of dealing with unbearable emotions is to lash out and get defensive and deny whatever it is that uh, might be a problem in their lives because the shame is too great. 